This will be the Utah general muzzleloader uh, elk hunt. Uh, probably only going to make it out three times maybe. The weather's been pretty good as far as what's going to get the elk moving to where I think that they're going to be. So right now I am going to go check zero on the muzzleloader and the season starts actually tomorrow but I'm on shift so it's either tomorrow or the 31st I got to double check my calendar anyways season starts in a couple days I'm gonna check zero on the muzzleloader and hopefully we can find a bull elk this time because the rifle elk hunt as you saw was pretty brutal so thanks for watching guys subscribe if you haven't hit that subscribe button and comment below and if you like the video hit the like button got all set up I'm at 100 yards gonna check zero at 100 um, it's snowing <laughs> and a tight slight light slight wind so uh, see if we can get a zeroed and then we'll check it at 150 and uh, call it good I don't see myself shooting past that with a muzzleloader so we'll see what we can do well as you saw right there money 100 can I go back to 150 well as you can tell day late and a dollar short <laughs> late start this morning it's okay where I'm heading right now it's kind of a recon mission got some uh, MRI last night on some elk so I got to hike up here to make sure that they're still there and hike back out to my truck drive down hike back up to where they are and hopefully smoke pull one of them so we'll see been freaking fighting the cold for five days now so this hike is going to be slow and uh, just meander my way up there got some milk spotted got a long long ways away <clears throat> I'm gonna pull out the spotter and see what I can see little phone scope of those elk right here just some cows and the spike as you can see I have meat in the freezer already so I'm gonna be a little bit pickier where I normally wouldn't be also a couple miles away and I'm feeding up over the hill so if I don't see anything where I'm heading I might go after him. Yeah, pretty cool. First day out on the muzzleloader hunt. The season started like last week, but I've been sick, so couldn't make it. <clears throat> but almost to the glassing knob, and hopefully. We can spot some. I'm talking way too much. I'm sorry. Let me try to make my videos shorter. You guys probably don't want to stare at my nostrils for 27 and a half minutes. <laughs> so, elk spotted. I'm gonna leave them. Go into a new glassing knob. Catch you later.
All right, so I got a really decent bull spotted. Actually, he's a good bull, really good bull. He is a long, long ways away. Um, I want to go after him so bad, but it's not the smartest decision. Especially being sick. But if he beds down, and I see him bed down, maybe. But other than that, I'm just going to keep glassing. It's a good bull. Looks like a six point, but I'm not sure. Really fed off. Um, I lost sight of him before he bedded down, so that made the decision for me. And I'm definitely not gonna go after him. So there's that. I'm gonna move around into the sun and try to warm up a little bit because I'm freezing. Yeah, way cold. Saw that one bull elk, and then that herd <clears throat> kind of northeast of me, both fed out of sight without bedding or anything like that. Can't really play, make a play on them. <clears throat> Could go tromping through there, but that's four and a half miles. <laughs> Rather not just go tromping through. Seen 13 bull moose today. 12, 12 bull moose, three cows. Was 12 old ones. Some good ones, some really small ones, but still, it's a ton of moose in this one canyon. So, I'm gonna pack up, <clears throat> head home. Got some uh, family stuff we gotta take care of today. So, that's, that's a wrap for my day one of the muzzleloader hunt. Probably only gonna get one more day uh, to be able to hunt, so it's probably gonna be a lot of phone scope video or at least a little bit of phone scope video <laughs> so thanks for watching guys appreciate it even the boring ones appreciate you watching the boring videos too <laughs> have a good day all right so obviously i'm in here earlier than last time which is a good sign barely barely the sun just popped up I got a herd elk spot. I don't know if there's any bubbles in it, but it's last day. And uh, if it's an elk and it's got antlers, I'm hoping I can smack him. Fingers crossed. Got probably a little over a mile to get to him. 
hit that uh, side last time pretty quickly, so stick with me, guys. Fingers crossed. as the sun hit the hillside. I tried to beat it, but that's what, uh, that's what happens. Wind switched. It's a decent ride horn in there. It sucks. Oh well, got some action. And just like that, they're out of my life forever. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. I wish this would happen during rifle season. <laughs> I had them in 300 yards multiple times. Thought maybe they were gonna feed out in the timber below me some more, but no dice. <laughs> oh well, go back to the glassing knob that's <laughs> a mile and a half that way. Uh, see if I can glass something up. Uh, it's nice having Onyx because I'm like 400 yards away from private, private boundary. So you can, I do line distance and I range, see where the elk are, see where I'm at. And then I can see how far away I am from the property boundary, how far away the elk are, so I know for sure that I'm good if I uh, ended up shooting one. So, Onyx, I know I say this all the time, but thank you. <laughs> lifesaver. Hopefully I'll have some more animals for you to look at. We'll see. These dudes are gone for good.
just posted up here doing some glassing. Uh, just a few bull moose, and that's it so far. Uh, let's see if I can turn up some milk. Hopefully, sooner than later. Be sweet. Pretty sure that's a kitty cat. That is a big kitty cat. Oh my goodness. Well, everybody, I'm, <clears throat> I apologize for this muzzleloader hunt video. <laughs> it's probably very boring for you guys. At least I got a little bit of phone scope video for you. Some moose, some elk. Um, honestly, it's nice that I have, I filled my cow tag already. Because I'm honestly in no <laughs> rush or hurry or whatever to really fill this tag. Especially since I can archery hunt <clears throat> till December which will probably be the next video I upload so if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when those videos post because those are always a good time probably the hardest hunt of the year definitely the hardest hunt of the year but it's a lot of fun anywho uh, thanks for watching sorry there's not much going on I'm just chilling up here on a knob took a nap I've been watching TikTok which, go follow me if you're not, jared.c.thomas, same as my Instagram. Uh, yeah. It's relaxing. It's quiet. Just getting some rest. Peek through the spotter every now and then, but other than that, just chilling. So thanks for watching. Sorry it's boring. Hopefully the next one will be a lot more entertaining. Oh, maybe the next video will be, uh, I think tomorrow we're going to go out as a family and I'm going to try to go fill that doe tag uh, that I was talking about in that antelope video, which if you haven't seen it, go look at that antelope video. The kill shot is pretty epic. So, All right, guys. You take care. <laughs>